Well, the eye is the, the thing that we're all born with. To see is to be able to um, have access. We are judged by the level of detail that we are able to see. The eye and the hand are the most important organs for insertion. If I can't see, then I can't do my job to its highest level. To see or not to see, that is the question. I think of the head-mounted microscope as, as a, a second pair of eyes, if you will. There's a question. What does high technology to you? To use more trouble or makes life easier for you? Uh, that high technology makes life better for me. What is truth? If you want to see something, you have to know what it is. And this is exactly what the microscope does. It shows you what exists. It enhances your possibility. It enhances your power of surgical skills. If you couple uh, the possibility of magnification to a freedom of movement, I think that uh, uh, you, you really understand the possibilities of this instrument. The field of view is crisp, clear. You see things that you have never seen before. Your eyes are amazing, but the head-mounted microscope magnifies that multiple times. It magnifies, it auto-focuses, it acts just like your eyes will act. Where you turn your head or your eyes, the head-mounted microscope follows you. I think most dentists would find the same way that I did, that they would feel like, wow, I've been missing a lot in the past and now I can see what I'm doing. In the past, a magnification of 2.5 or 3.5 was sufficient. Nowadays, however, we have to go to smaller structures. We nowadays operate on very small babies, premature babies. The smallest we have operated here was had only a weight of 900 grams and of course then you have to deal with very small structures. A well experienced surgeon is above 40 years old. That means he can never have a good eye. The best thing is as magnified as possible. The classical magnifying specs magnify only 4.5% the one which I'm using magnifies for nine times. So I can say uh, I start when a normal surgeon stops. Head mounted microscopy is like an extension of the natural, highly developed human eye. Uh, for me, it's like a turbocharger for your engine. For instance, in the field of urology, you use magnification in very different kind of operations. Uh, one like vasovasostomy or varicoceles, uh, very superficial, uh, very nice excess. On the other hand, you need it for nerve sparing radical prostatectomies, which is deep down in the narrow pelvis. So with head rounded microscopy, you are flexible to do all of these procedures with the same uh, microscope. The difference with the loops is that uh, I can uh, move from dissection to uh, really microsurgical uh, procedures uh, very easily. And, uh, and so uh, it gave me freedom of movement and uh, uh, really a possibility to change uh, the magnification during the operation uh, in respect to, to the normal loops. We have different distances all the time, yes? 
first you are on the abdomen and then you are 20 centimeters deep in the in the deepness yes and so you need a uh, different uh, uh, distances and you cannot change the loops that's impossible it's only uh, possible to work with the head mountain microscope it's only possible I think the built-in camera is extremely important because the team can also see exactly what it is that I'm seeing and what I'm concentrating on doing. And in so doing, they are much more involved in the procedure than they're just looking at the back of my head while I'm looking down a deep, dark hole inside the patient. And it's very, very important in surgery that every member of the team feels ownership in the procedure because that's the way to get everybody to produce their best and ultimately to deliver the best outcomes for the patient. The lighting is actually so easy to use that I almost forgot about it because it's second nature with this machine. I don't think you could be any tighter than the inside of the canal of a tooth and I have had zero issues with uh, getting light down in those areas. I don't reach up for the light anymore and move around and try and do things. It's all right there. Which is like I said, it's, it, I almost forgot about it because it's, <laughs> it's, it's problem solved. Let's put it that way. I normally operate about six to seven hours in total with the head mounted microscope uh, a day and uh, I don't really feel it anymore. Uh, I'm so used to it. Uh, it, it's comfortable, it's well balanced and once you really have adapted it then it really is an enormous help and it's, 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 it's luxury. I think it takes about 10-15 operations to really be adapted to this instrument. I always advise my young colleagues if they start with the instrument they should take about half an hour a day uh, reading the newspapers just to get used to that The most important thing about the learning process is that you have to breathe out before you start working. That you, uh, that you sink into another world. You are not guided by, by the tactility of your uh, fingers, but you are guided by your eyes. And it's a, it's a very, very big difference. It's freedom of your spirit because you go into a deep, very deep level uh, of your consciousness that makes your hands uh, stop trembling and uh, you're very calm at that moment. Yeah? Jeder Kollege definiert sein, seine Präzision selbst und das wird auch so bleiben. Das ist eine Dienstleistung, das ist auch etwas Kunst und jeder Künstler wird seine Kunst auch etwas anders definieren. Der eine strebt nach höchster Perfektion beim Aquarellieren und der andere ist mit einer Übersicht, mit einem Übersichtsbild zufrieden. Also ich würde da keinem Kollegen jetzt irgendwie was unterstellen, aber ich für meine Person, ich kann ohne das Kopfmikroskop nicht mehr diese Präzision bringen, die ich erwarte, die ich von mir erwarte. Now I think you have the opportunity to extend the reach of your eyes. 
um, improve the amount of detail you're able to see. And so I see wonderful applications in otolaryngology, cardiac surgery, plastic surgery. It fundamentally changes the ability of surgeons to better understand their surroundings and therefore better treat their patients. Um, I do believe that this is the beginning of really a fundamental change in the way we use microscopy in the operating room.